I'm standing here in front of a 2008 Saab 9.3 convertible and the top doesn't go all the way down. It gets stuck and then the lid doesn't close all the way. So I'm replacing one of the hydraulic cylinders that's in the trunk. I'll show that in just a minute. First thing you got to get the car set up to where you can get to the cylinder. The lid has to be in the open position and to do that you just press the top button in the down positions or in the up position for the top to go down and it'll raise the lid as you keep holding it the back glass will lift up and you need to stop it right there at that point you can access the cylinder now the cylinder sits right behind the back passenger seat as we get in there close And this cylinder right here is the one we're going to take out. It's this cylinder right here. And it goes all the way down and it's connected right here. Uh, there's a clip that has to be taken out. And it's also connected right here. And there's a cotter pin that sits right here. And the rest of this I have to come out. The only thing you need to take the hydraulic cylinder out are two tools. You need needle nose pliers to grab the lower retaining clip and you need a straight slot screwdriver to take out the top retaining clip. And the only reason you need these tools is because you can't get your hands around them well enough to take them out the other way and you need to pry the top retaining clip out. So you'll use your straight slot screwdriver and you'll pry up the tab holding in the top pin <clears throat> and this is the pin here you can see it and you just take your screwdriver slip it between those two and lift it up and it comes out in this direction all right the only thing you'll need to get out the lower retaining clip is needle nose pliers and this helps you get a good grasp on it just make sure you don't drop it down in the slot where the hoses are. Otherwise, you'll lose it and it'll be tough to get a hold of. So just reach in with your needle nose pliers. Grab it and hold on to it. And this retaining clip is a little bit different. And I'm guessing the way, the reason why Saab did this is because the top part of the cylinder moves up and down. It's what lifts the top and pulls the top back down. The top retaining clip actually slips over and locks into place so that it holds the pin in securely. The bottom one, the one I just showed you, doesn't move at all. It just kind of moves back and forth a little bit so there's no risk of it coming out. Once you have the retaining clips out and keep up with them, don't lose them, and I would mark them in some way, is just reach in and take out the pins. This is the lower pin. You can see the slot where the lower retaining clip holds it in place. Just keep that. The top pin holds in the upper arm of the cylinder and also the levers that control the top. When you take that top pin out, the levers are going to drop down. So hold them with your finger in place, pull the pin out, and just release the, the cylinder. And I would stick the pin back into the two levers to keep them in place. That way they won't go all over the place and they'll be in the same place where you left them. Once those two pins are out, the cylinder is, is released. Uh, you just need to work it out of place. It is held in by another pin at the bottom, but that stays in. I would leave it in but it does come out just be careful the one on the left side does come out once the cylinder is out you have to disconnect the hoses and the leads to it there are two hoses that inject hydraulic fluid into the cylinder that controls its up and down movement and these are held in with retaining clips as well and you can use a small screwdriver 
such as a jeweler's screwdriver, this is a straight slot, or some sort of small screwdriver, or if you can't get that, some needle nose pliers that can also help. And to get the hoses out, you'll need to stick the screwdriver in close and pry this thing out. Now, this thing may pop out when you release the retaining clip, so be sure you get a good hold on it. Now, this is the retaining clip that holds in the hydraulic hose, and it just slips over the hose piece. Keep up with that as well. If you lose that, the hose won't stay in. And here's the other retaining clip. The hoses should come out pretty easily. Uh, just kind of work them out. Now keep in mind, these hoses do have O-rings on them. So be careful, just make sure you're looking at what you're doing and make sure that O-ring stays in place. If you lose it you, and you put it back in without the O-rings, it will leak hydraulic fluid and it'll be a mess and you won't even know it because you don't actually see this area when you're letting the top down and putting it back up. Make sure those O-rings stay in place. And a good idea is to take some painter's tape or masking tape and just tape over the end of this so that it doesn't come off. Just make a note on the tape to watch for the O-ring. And that's how these hydraulic cylinders work. It's just O-rings, seals, and hydraulic fluid, and that controls the up and down movement of the top. So we'll take the other one out. Now, if there's any pressure, it will leak hydraulic fluid all over the, your car. So you may want to have a rag, or just don't let the, the hydraulic oil leak out. Now, this one, the O-ring stayed in the cylinder. So when I, when I get this thing out, I'll need to make sure I pull that O-ring out and secure it so that I don't lose it. The other things on here are these leads. These are the electrical leads that act as sensors and they also provide power to the units for the switch. So these are just held in by clips and you'll just release one side and you can probably do this with your hand. At least one side and they slip out like that. Make sure you keep up with which one is the bottom and which one is the top. Uh, in, in my case, the longer one is up top because it's farther from the source. And the shorter one is at the bottom. And just pull those out. And just like the O-rings, you can put some, some uh, painter's tape on it and mark it as the upper lead. And once those are taken out, the cylinder is released and it can come out. And this is the cylinder and the reason why I took this one out is because I did take the car to a dealer and this was the cylinder that they suggested needed to be replaced. It does have hydraulic fluid in it so if I were to compress this hydraulic fluid would squirt out uh, this and this uh, inlet here where the hoses connect. Now I found that this part alone is about $500. And the dealer wanted to charge me over $800 to replace it. I did find a place online, and I'll put a link in the description below, that will rebuild these. And basically what they'll have to do is re repack it and recrimp the bottom here and I'll probably supply new O-rings. Once I get it back, then I'll put this one back in and, and try it again to make sure it works and that it's going to lower the top. The problem I was having is that when the top was coming down, it, it would go all the way down, but it wouldn't pull the top completely into the cavity in the trunk to let the lid come over and close it. So what I would have to do was I would have to force it down with my hand so that the lid would come back up. So this is the cylinder that I'm gonna have rebuilt. Once I get it rebuilt and back, then I will put it back in.